All right, here we are. So first off, I'd like to explain two things. Yes, I'm filming this on my birthday because I woke up to like 40 DMs and over half of them were about to mention 20. This is your video, guys. I'm making this because of y'all. <laughs> Secondly, I found out I apparently am allergic to leather during Atlanta Comic Con, so I now have hives wherever it touched me. So you're just gonna have to deal with that because I can't put anything on it because it needs to breathe. Alrighty, let's talk about Dimension 20 Dropout and my series recommendations and my thoughts and theories on the new Dimension 20 side quest. Dimension 20 is a D&D podcast that is typically run by Brandon Lee Mulligan as he is the most prolific and prominent DM that is on there, but he's not the only one. Dimension 20 features a cast of rotating characters and DMs, either people that they are friends with that they know from other communities such as Matthew Mercer and Abrea Iyengar, or they are people that work for College Humor. Dimension 20 is entirely funded by College Humor. It is something that is available on their subscription service, which is called Dropout. More about that in a minute. And for the most part, the seasons don't really interconnect. There are a handful that do, such as Fantasy High Seasons 1 and 2, Freshman and Sophomore Year, as well as parts of Leviathan and the Seven, which are additions to that series as well. For the most part, all of these are available exclusively on Dropout with the exception of Freshman Year, The Unsleeping City Season 1, and Escape from Blood Keep, which are available on YouTube as the censored version. Due to YouTube's whole rules about like language and stuff now, they have to censor, censor out all the cussing, which is a little bit annoying, but if you don't care, you can at least watch those three for free on YouTube, as well as the first episode of every single season is available as like a little bit of a teaser. Dropout is essentially College Humor's own streaming service. It allows you to watch everything from Um Actually to Game Changer to Dimension 20 to a bunch of other skits and sketches they do. If you didn't know, College Humor is entirely comprised of people who do improv. So a lot of them are professional actors. They do a lot of like on the spot improvisation. They're incredibly talented and they have all of these different things that they do on Dropout that allow them to showcase their talents. Dimension 20 is just one of them. Dropout is in of itself very inexpensive. It's around $4.99 a month USD. I honestly would highly recommend it if you really get into Dimension 20, let alone if you like the other shows. Like I started it for Dimension 20 and having like a consistent D&D podcast nearly every single month, plus catch up on everything else, was so amazing to be able to do and just have it playing in the car like you can download it and have it playing when it's not when you're like not in wi-fi you can have it where it's like on your computer and you have it where it's off wi-fi but then also if you like the other shows on there like there's so much content to explore and they're constantly putting out new stuff it's amazing so there's two main distinctions with dimension 20 seasons you have your side quests and your main quests Dimension 20 seasons, for the most part, never last longer than around 22 episodes long. They are only around two and a half hours in length, sometimes a little shorter, sometimes a little longer. Main quest seasons are around 22 episodes. Side quest seasons run anywhere between four to 13 at the most. You can find examples of this in Escape from Blood Keep. You have A Court of Fate and Flowers. You have Shriek Week. Anything that is a smaller season is a side quest. So in terms of main quests, I recommend, I highly recommend Fantasy High for starters. It gives you a really good vibe of like how Dimension 20 is, how it works, the different vibe of all the characters. It has your main cast. So it's the people who are usually either interchanging in most of the seasons or the ones that are there for like the big seasons. I also highly recommend Crown of Candy. It is one of my favorites. If you are a fan of Game of Thrones, you've got to watch it. I went into it thinking it was going to be a wholesome Candyland story. I have trauma and I thank Brennan for it every day. Side quests I recommend include Escape from Blood Keep, which is around an eight episode long Lord of the Rings parody series and told entirely from the perspective of the villains. It has a ton of guests on it. It is Brennan DMing. It is hilarious. 10 10 recommend. I also really recommend Misfits and Magic if you'd like to just see people like absolutely crap on Harry Potter and JK Rowling while also using a lot of Harry Potter to create a story that calls out all of the issues in it while also being absolutely hilarious. That one is a four episode only with a one shot like winter special as well. It's only around two and a half hours per episode so it's like super short. 
I'd like to start this off by saying I know that a lot of critters that are seeing this and coming into it are assuming that this is going to be tied in somehow to Critical Role. I highly doubt that. Only because Dimension 20 has never done anything that's tied into Critical Role in any of the times that either Matt or Marisha have been in the games remotely. In case you didn't know, Matt has been a player twice in Escape from Blood Keep and Pirates of Leviathan, as well as Marisha being in Pirates of Leviathan as well. Do not watch Pirates of Leviathan unless you've watched at least season one of Fantasy High. So this is not anything new for Matt to be joining the show. It's new for him to be DMing. Dimension 20 tends to film a lot of their stuff by just going back to back to back and maybe having them change shirts out every so often, but they'll film all of the season in like a couple of days and then the editors just cut it up, edit chunks out, and put it on their site. So yes, in order to watch the new season with Matthew Mercer, you will have to have a dropout subscription. It is again $4.99 USD. The first episode, as always, will probably be available on YouTube so that you can at least watch it and get a flavor for it. I would assume that this is not a main quest as currently the main quest is never after and they don't do main quests back to back. I also don't feel like Matt would have enough time to commit to an additional 20, 22 episode long whole D&D campaign because that's just a lot of work. Dimension 20 works very differently from long campaigns in that the DM has to put in a lot more work in order to make the story feel more fleshed out for less episodes and so that the players never at once really feel railroaded but feel like they are naturally picking up all the different tips along the way while they are in fact in some ways being railroaded by the DM to pick certain things and not just go off on their own and explore some random town five cities over. That doesn't really happen in Dimension 20 because they don't have the time to be able to let that happen. So yes, I'm assuming that this will be a side quest. I would put this as no more being than eight episodes long. I'd be shocked honestly if Matt's able to give more than like a four or five episode season, which will still be amazing. I'm really curious to see what he's going to do. I highly doubt that it's going to be connected to any of the other shows on Dimension 20 or on Critical Role, but we'll really have to wait and see when the trailer drops. I know some people have been theorizing that maybe it's got to do with some African vibes based on the set that was shown or possibly even gothic architecture with like the goblet and stuff. I don't know. We'll leave that up to speculation. There's a possibility that more of the CR cast will be there, but it's more than likely that most of it will be made up by either college humor or non-CR individuals who will be a part of the show. I think it was mentioned or at least hinted at by Brennan that either he or Abria or both of them will be a part of the show in some capacity. That was rapid fire, I know. Um, if you have any questions about either Dropout or Dimension 20, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.